Pebble. Why do I keep hearing firework rockets? What is going on? I swear I've been hearing firework rockets for the last, I don't know, five minutes? And I don't think it's someone flying over my base because, like, I would have seen them by now. There it is again! What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Is there someone here by chance? Am, or am I just hearing rockets? Hello? 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 I feel so delusional right now. I swear. <laughs> what was that? What is this? And where art thou, little... Okay, that was Jeff. That is, that is definitely Jeff. Where is this sound coming from? I heard a pressure plate. Where are you? Oh. This sounds so cool. It's a chicken. What? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What? Hello? Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> sounds so pretty oh it's so pretty oh no chicken chicken no no you make the prettiest noises please don't go outside please don't go outside you make the prettiest noises i would like you to stay there and troll everybody else because this is amazing how many rockets did they put is it just this it is <laughs> i love it i love it chicken go that way thank you okay yes you stayed there chicken you're beautiful Thank you. Right, I'm gonna leave that there and uh, it can surprise anybody else that walks past. I love it. <laughs> Pearl? Hmm? Oh, I see you're Chris? underground. Hello? Pearl? Ha! Ah! Beat hubs, hi! <laughs> Hold on, let me come hi. up. <laughs> I can hear you through the ground. Oh, have I got a prize for you. Oh. Lulu, stop it. I see, so yes. I see some pretty llamas that look like candy. Little candy candy. Yes, these are these are can my candy llamas. Candy llamas. Uh, oh, so cute. Yes. yes. So, What's I noticed out by our place you have a little uh, <laughs> thing happening uh -huh. with the uh, pad. Is it pad llama co? Pad llama co. Yeah, that's right. My llamada. Yes. Huh? I love it. <laughs> it's you. wonderful. I, I I foresee a problem with it. Okay. Mm Would you like to tell me what that problem might be? Even though I might know. Okay, well, are they, are, is this is this the uh, employees over here? They are the, um, the uh, you know, they're the, the kind Ooh. of ones that don't quite meet the requirements. <laughs> they're a little, yeah. little okay. bit lacking. <laughs> yes, yes, and on for and you can't kill them, can you, on camera? I mean, I could, but I probably might be seen right. as a bit of an evil person. I don't, don't want to be yeah, like that. Yeah, just turn the recording I off and slice every, their heads every off. One of my, oh, gosh. No. I value my llamas. <laughs> you do. That's really sweet of you. So do I. <laughs> I value them so much. Pearl, you know you know, the difficulty of finding a nice nine-slot llama. Yes, I uh, do. Certainly. Did you know there is a 1% chance of giving a 12-slot llama? I, I do, yeah. Did you know there is a then 0.75% chance of getting a 15 <laughs> slot llama? I, I do know that as well. Something tells Follow me you me have right a... this way. <laughs> These are free samples for you. Free samples. Oh, and they have the, and they've got seeds. They got, they got a, a bonus of seeds. Oh, that's my seed llama. Yeah, you can have those. You can have Fantastic. those. Fantastic. Our special llama seeds. I'm going to grow some new llamas from it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just plant it in the ground and new llamas pop up. Okay. That's the new trick. All uh, right. What's the catch? Now, yeah. <laughs> you know there's a catch. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's no way giving these no. to me for free. No way. Okay. Well, free. Yes, these are free. They are, there is no breeding with these. There is, you know, uh -huh. if you know those percentages, there's a 20% chance of getting a 15 slaughter out of one of these guys. Yes, yes. Well, yes, you what know. If, what if, oh, what if I was to, to breed them and just disguise You wouldn't even know. Hmm? Well, then I have this hmm? sharp blade that I will use to, oh. to take out the entire company. I mean, it's only diamonds, though. Well, would you... So, so what? I can get one of those. I'll, I'll get one of those. Here's the thing. So, yes, there's a catch. No breeding, number one. Number okay. two, please do not, or no, please remember 
that I have a lot more of these. And if you want more, uh -huh. you gotta rent them. You have to rent them. So it's like a constant price? You can't just buy them? No, no, it's a rental price. They uh, gotta be returned. Okay. Well, yeah. What's what price are we talking? Uh, we're talking one diamond block. That, okay. <laughs> okay, no, no. Per, okay, okay, per <laughs> llama. I haven't really figured it out. Okay. okay. Per llama, uh -huh. one diamond per 100 days. One diamond per 100 days. And that's including when mm -hmm. I'm not on the server. Hmm. No, 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 no. Well, I get, like, that's a bad, that's a bad way. Um, <laughs> no, it makes sense because my llamas are still selling even when I'm online. Yeah, mm. right, yeah. So one diamond per yeah, 100 days. I, I wonder if it's profitable enough, right? I've got to decide to see if my current llamas are profitable enough to even cover the expense. That's why I wanted to give you these guys for free. Uh -huh. So you can give, give it a, them little, a try. little test drive and see trial is it, would it be worthwhile? Yeah. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. I mean, I'll have to take think about it. I definitely will go for this free trial. They're absolutely adorable. I think they'll love me just okay. as much. Free trial. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's all I wanted. I wanted. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm courteous and kind uh -huh. and nice. And, I mean, uh, I, I wanted to just give you those for free. No strings attached, no breeding and buy from me later. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, <laughs> if you wanted to, to get into the business, <laughs> the partnership, maybe. Really? Maybe. Well, okay. I mean, I could, I could partner. I just yeah. think, you know, I don't have to be the boss of every every business. I mean, you know? well, maybe I, I, I would be, be the boss, supplier. right? So yeah, if, if if we could work together in this, you know, and I could still be the <clears throat> the boss. Pearl, if we work together, <laughs> I'd be the boss. Oh, really? But yeah, I, I made I made headquarters ferociously. Uh, it's okay. This one swings faster. Down, oh, stop it! <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I can't go you... faster on this llama, so you kind of you can kind of run away if you wanted. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I've got um, one more thing. Wait, did you? Okay, yes. You come this way, real quick. All right. Are you gonna ask me for my clocks? No, no, not this time. That's that's to come. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So there is something. There was something that was going on around here, right? Um, we might have to okay. wait for it to happen. But I just wonder who did it. You'll you'll hear it go off in a minute. Pearl, is this a prank to make me just look at grass? <laughs> I, I almost wish it was, but no, this is magical. You'll love it, I promise. It's um, totally not watching grass grow. <laughs> we really why is it? Though. Why is it not going off? Hold on a minute. Um, let's see if I can find it. Maybe stopped for some reason. Chicken? Chicken? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, okay, no, it's still there. Ooh, Whoa, phantoms! phantoms. Uh -oh. Is that the sound? Uh, that, no, that's that's not the sound. Chicken. Look, okay, I'm go. sleeping. Okay, hold on. This chicken. Chicken. Like, He's fine. Hold on a minute. I'll I'll make it. I'll make this happen. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh! <laughs> the fact I had to make that happen was a little bit um, yeah, disappointment. But you know, it's fine. Pearl. It, mm. Pearl. Yeah. I know who did it. Who did it? I, I need to know. It just popped up all of a Do sudden. Do you want to know? Do I want to know? That's the real question, isn't it? I can tell you, I know who did it. Uh, someone with some amethyst uh, as a source, I yes. presume. Okay, I wonder yes. if I can. Wonder if I can think. Oh, see, there it goes. There it is. There it goes. Yes. It's so pretty. Yes. I love it. So I kind of left it there. Is it? Is it Jem by chance? I don't know if she has access. No. To no, it's not Jem. Okay. It's not. Mm -hmm. No. No. Uh, clue. Got a clue? Th uh, okay, you were right with three letters. Three letters. Three, three letters. It was three, three letters on the server. Three, three letters. <laughs> Starts with C. Was oh, it Cub? Yes. <gasps> Cub. Okay. Positive. Uh, Positive it was Cub. Yes. Because in his last episode, he discovered that if you do a rocket into Amethyst, it makes that beautiful. That sound. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. It is really pretty. <laughs> I don't know if he did it as a prank or as a gift. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's, I, it is kind of hard. Like, that's what I thought when you arrived. I was like, oh, is he, is he coming here? And is he you know, going to tell me about like, his fun little fun little prank? But no. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> nope. I just know who did it. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to maybe consult Mr. Cub there and see. Thank you this for leading This horse armor is real. Yeah. Is this cyan? Mm -hmm. Um, it's like a combination. We just mixed a bunch of dyes together. <gasps> you can change. 
Yeah, there is. Did you know how big the color range is in leather armor? The color range is oh, insane. Oh, it works for horses too. Yeah, yeah. So same with like human armor and horse armor, horse armor as well. It's awesome. Both Jam and I have horses. I have Moon. She has Sun, and then we bred them and made Eclipse. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I know, I love them so much. Are they fast? Are they good speed oh, oh, ones? They're, they're okay. I think your horse is much faster, to be honest. Like, Kank is the fastest and the highest jumper. It's like a 4.75 jumper. 0.75? Yeah. Okay, I have to try this. Yeah. If you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. Go take Kanga for a spin. Oh yeah, that's good speed. Yeah, it's pretty decent speed. Look at you zooming. Pretty decent. No. <laughs> okay, but so not, can... not, okay. But it's the blob one here... Yeah. Rue is yeah. the... Yeah, uh... Rue is the big jumper. It's the 4.75. Okay, let's give this a shot here. <laughs> Can we make it well, on that, the Rue? That is four Ow. blocks, so you should be able to. Okay. Oh, okay, there you go, that almost. That wasn't a full. I think you face planted the a planks a little bit as well. I did, yeah. <laughs> you're okay, almost. Hold on. I'm not sure if you oh, lined up. Oh, that... Right. There we go. Yeah. This is a difficult thing because I have to... You got to get it okay, just right. There. there you go. Yep, see? You know it? You see it? You see it? <laughs> yes. There uh -huh. we go. There we go. I love it. <laughs> Kank is a big jumper. Wow. <laughs> okay, here. Check this out. Uh-oh. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're hurting Kanga. Oh, no. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kanga's fine. Oh, Kanga that's pretty fine. nice. I, I know, right? I like that horse. Y Ooh. If you wanted to, like, breed with him, but you'd have to trade a five-slot llama. <laughs> a five-slot? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You mean f the 15? Yeah. 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 You know, um, it's a pretty rare jumper, you know? Mm. <laughs> I may okay. I may. I have to talk to Etho because we're working on a horse breeding business. So if he uh -huh. if we need it, okay, will, we'll, we'll consider leave. it. All right. Wait, where's my saddle? There it is. Okay, uh, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to leave. Fast. Your horse doesn't you know? want to leave. <laughs> okay. All right, Pearl. In, enjoy the llamas. Thank you for the oh, wonderful tour. Thank you so and, much, uh, V Dubs. I appreciate it. I'll come back to you later, and we'll uh, sort this llama business out. <laughs> perfect. See ya. Okay. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Pellicent Moon and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Hemocraft Season 8. We are already off to an absolute fantastic start with a couple of brand new llamas to our Lamada fleet that we're going to be putting around the server. All dressed pretty in pink, which I absolutely love. Hello little buddy. And we're definitely going to have to kind of like check up and see on all of the llamas around the server just to see if they've made any diamonds and if the exchange is worth it i guess he did say one diamond a day which is like or one diamond every 100 days in minecraft which is honestly not that bad at all but we gotta make sure we make enough diamonds first in the lamada itself in terms of how many diamonds we have made with our shop so far the first one to check is actually is going to be the actual headquarters itself so let's see if people have been buying anything two diamonds in the name tags fantastic nothing in bookshelves nothing in efficiency nothing in fortune Glass? We have. Oh, someone's been buying all my glass, and I think that was a sneaky impulse. So that's 17 diamonds from glass, and I hadn't even put up the price properly. So uh, I've since done that. One diamond per two stacks, and people can buy glass from here. And we also have people buying my tinted glass. Now, that I've actually restocked it since people had last bought from it. And because uh, it just sold out entirely and I needed to restock, but I just wanted to show you guys just how many diamonds we have made so far on this. I think tinted glass is the way to go. That being said, let's check up on all of our La Marta and see how they've been faring. We got two diamonds from Zuma. Oh, I didn't even know if he would see this one because it was kind of like, it's just sitting here, you know, it's not really any like prime location. But looks like Zoom has found the Padlama shop. Fantastic. Wait, what does that need? Aha, the tinted glass again. The classic culprits. Oh, something that we need to restock. Now, the interesting one with Jem's llama is that I actually put her llama in the middle of her lake. And you know what she's done with it? She's gone and moved the llama off the water where the boat should technically be. And she's gone and put it over here in her stables. <laughs> This is a boat on land now. Has she bought anything? Hasn't bought anything, but I do love the fact that she put the llama in the stables. I guess it's a permanent shop now. <laughs> now, I've actually checked this llama before and gotten a few sales out of it, but the second time round, I guess, I guess we haven't sold anything. But 
We somehow have acquired a turtle. Hi, cutie. How you doing? <laughs> You're adorable. I like you. I like you a lot. You know what? While I am here, this is the Yes Wings Club. So there's the No Wings Club that promotes you to, you know, not use your elytra at all. But there is also the Yes Wings Club to combat it, which is allowing you to fly. And honestly, there doesn't seem anything too bad about it. I want to give this a look and see if we can maybe sign up because apparently you get bonuses for signing up to this and I see no downsides. Welcome to the Yes Wings Club, Flight Club, where the first rule of Flight Club is that you always talk about Flight Club. I am so close to saying Flight Club. <laughs> this club is open to all hermits who love to fly. Membership is free until August 3rd, 2021. To sign up, please leave your name and the current date on the next page. Also, as a gift for joining, please take one Welcome to the Yes Wings Club sugar boxes from the chest below and wear your aviator helmet proudly. And then we just have the dates. Now, I will admit something. I have signed up before, as some people might have seen in other people's videos. However, I wasn't quite ready for it in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up today with a fresh date. And we're going to be absolutely dandy. There we go. Good old Perlo on July 28th. Perfect. All right, let me see my, my little prize. Okay, let's have a look. Welcome to Yes Wings Club. I'm going to grab one of those. Thank you very much. Look at all the rockets that we get out of it. We have all of these rockets, a spare elytra, which is amazing. I've got one elytra right now, but I'm not going to argue against another one. And a little helmet. Let's put it on. Hmm. It kind of seems like my hair <laughs> goes over the goggles and my eyes are below the goggles. This is fine. <laughs> uh, this is fine. I'm just going to get a few bugs in my eyes. It's all right. All right, well, we're all signed up. There wasn't really any downsides to this. And you know what? There's no rules to say that we can't sign up to the other club at the same time. Maybe? <laughs> we just get some benefits. There's no rules, right? Right? Anyway, let's continue on and go check the very last llama that I have left in the server, which is actually below the No Wings Club, ironically. Hmm. Okay, look at that floating house. I'm so tempted to sign up right now. Like, I, I really am tempted to sign up to the No Wings Club straight away. Wait a minute, what? <gasps> Did we catch an axolotl? What? That is close squid ink. What? There is an ax- We caught a turtle and an axolotl with the Lamada. I didn't realize we were bringing home friends. <laughs> okay, we've made no sales, but you know what? A turtle and an axolotl. I'll take that. Oh, you're cutie. Can I take you home? Boink. <laughs> I had to break the boat to get it out, but you know what? It's fine. I just put the boat back down again and then put the... Here we go. There we go. Llama knows exactly what to do. Thank you, Llama. You're absolutely sweetie. I'm going to take a little, a little, little tiny peek into the No Wings Club. You know, I want to see... I want to see what this little building's all about, you know? You know there's nothing stopping us from coming in here. What do we got? We are a club that plays without wings. If you can complete any of the T's, you get a bragging medal. If you are interested, read the rule book. Good luck and welcome to our club. Dear Hermit, welcome to the No Wings HQ. This is this No Wing Club awards the Hermit who manages to travel the lanes and not use an elytra. There are five different tiers displayed on the information wall, each of which are rewarded depending on the amount of days in game you can go without using an elytra. Anyone can join and membership is free. The registration is open as long as there are bragging medals to be had. Rules. Because this is an SMP, calculating days can be tricky. Therefore, one day is to be considered 10 minutes of actual playtime. AFK time needs to not be calculated. Upon reaching a tier goal, please contact Iskel and your medal will be delivered. You can also join if you already have an elytra and the time starts when you sign up. So if you flew here and signed up, now is the time to take your wings off. Using the elytra resets the time to day zero. Good luck and may the bragging medals hang high on your walls in a near future. Once again, there's no rule saying we can't sign up to both, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. <laughs> okay, I'll take off my wings now. Fine. I can still wear my helmet. I can pretend I can fly at heart. A hundred days. That's what I'm going to go for. At least a hundred days. And then maybe I'll put my wings back on. Let's give it a go. No wings. No wings for a hundred days. Let's do it. Why I decided to do this while I was checking my llamas? I have no idea. I, I have no idea. This is not a good time to take off my wings. Yeah. All right, we are back and doing absolutely wonderful. So that time round, we made two diamonds from the Lamana. 
But there is a little bit of a catch because I did actually make some diamonds in the past. I've been kind of wanting to, I've been kind of like restocking my shop a little bit off camera and I decided to check the Lamada to see how it was doing on pretty much the first or the second day. And we actually made some diamonds there as well. And that was 12. I put it off to the side so I could report to you guys on how many exactly we've made. So we've made 14 diamonds from the Lamada as it is. I don't know whether it's worth getting the 15 slot llama, but we'll see how it goes over time. So in total, we managed to make 69 diamonds out of it. Nice. Now, another thing as well is you may notice because my shop has been selling out of regular glass and tinted glass, I had to kind of up the ante on my villagers, all right? I had one villager selling glass left. Just one. Hi, Fox. <laughs> I had just one villager selling glass left because my other one died. And that was a bit of a problem if the main thing I'm selling is tinted glass. So what I actually did on a live stream was I extended out my little area underneath here and decided to make a safe place for my villagers to stay as well as creating a breeding area for them to make some more glass villagers. All of these new brand new librarians all sell glass. I forgot to mention the sound at the start. I'm leaving that there for a little bit. But anyway, uh, all of these guys sell glass and it's super easy to restock it all now. This chicken does not want me, does not want to let me forget that it's up there. It really doesn't. <laughs> oh dear. So we've got a whole bunch of new villagers now and it's absolutely fantastic. Coming into the back here, we have the place where the villagers are able to breed automatically with the farmers. Honestly, I don't know how I managed to get two farmers out of one composter, but I'm not complaining. Just means they'll breed faster, sure. Now I did notice a few comments on the last episode asking about the aquarium and if we could light it up more. I actually was thinking of putting some sea lanterns under there maybe to try and light it up a little bit more. But the thing is, this is dark gray stained glass. So it looks a lot darker than it actually is under there. There were a few comments suggesting pickles and we already got those as well. So it's been, it's quite hard to light it up with the dark gray glass on top, but I did try regular glass and it was just a little bit too bright with the white edges. So I kind of opted against it and I feel like the dark gray works a little bit nicer, even though we're technically sacrificing what would be a brighter floor. Now this leads on to the next order of events in the episode and which is my contribution to Teg. I have so many fun plans that I cannot wait to do for Teg and you know what? All of those plans are actually underground in my base. And because that involves a lot of digging, I think this is time to actually get my beacon up and running. Now Green gave us these skulls so long ago at this point that I think it's really time to use them. And you know what? Whenever I fight the Wither, I don't actually fight it normally. What I love to do with the Wither is actually mine with it. For anyone who hasn't mined with the Wither before, here's a bit of an explanation. The first thing you want to do is create a really long strip mine tunnel, however long you want it to be, however short you want it to be, to whatever point you would like. Go right down to the end of it, and then that's where you're going to be placing your Wither. When you found the length you're happy with, chuck down your blocks and get ready to spawn. Now this is where I'm also going to say that if you do want some wither roses, now would be the time to get a whole bunch of chicken eggs, chuck some baby chickens in there, probably dig down, you know, another another layer of blocks down there, get your baby chickens to spawn so that when the wither spawns, it kills all the chickens and then drops the wither roses. This time around, I'm not that fussed about them, so I'm not going to bother. Now it's time to summon the wither. Let me just stand back here because that's going to have a massive explosion. Once it's ready and spawned in, get it down to half of its health. Once it gets down to half health, that's where it's going to start gravitating towards the ground instead of wanting to fly up. Now that it's in its second phase, I'm going to start whacking it with the sword in order to get it super, super low. So that when you're ready to kill it, you can kill it whenever in a few hits. Now that it's low, all we have to do is just punch the wither with our fist and it's going to continue to break blocks as it comes towards you. So in that case, all we're doing is just sitting here, punching it as we go down the long strip mine tunnel that we've made. And it's creating that three by four tunnel for us that we could use in honestly anything. It helps expose diamonds. It's just all around handy and takes no effort at all. When I'm ready to kill it, all I've got to do is give it that couple of taps with my sword and it's all good and done. If you are scared of the withering effect sometimes affecting you in this, because it can happen, bring yourself a bucket of milk just in case. Now it's honestly just time for me to, to sit here a little bit and uh, have my little mining session with the wither. I will bring you guys back when, uh, when we're all done and ready.
All right, we're getting a little bit too close to our base now, so I'm about to do a couple final whacks just to give it a nice old hit and finish off the job. There we go. The wither is now dead. Oh, we have we have two. We have a skull as well, and we also have under the star, which is fantastic. As you can see, I also ended up with a little bit of wither effect there, so that's where the milk I was talking about can come in handy. And honestly, if you can, get yourself some golden carrots because the regeneration from golden carrots is fantastic. And would you look at that? We have this giant tunnel going all the way back to where we had it. I've got a little bit of stone peeking out there because it kind of loses its tracking when it comes to the cave system. And you can uncover some wonderful diamonds this way. You can give you give yourself like a mine shaft that you can then just clean up and then decorate. You can do whatever you want with it. So it's one of my favorite things to do with the wither. All right, let's craft up our beacon. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at it. Look at that. So I'm going to have to set up the beacon. I'm going to have to get some a bunch of emerald blocks from my villagers. That's easy enough to trade like a whole bunch of bookshelves and sticks and kind of do the, the whole back and forth thing there because a few of my villagers do the old, uh, I can buy a bookshelf for a diamond, for an emerald, and then I can sell one book for one emerald. So, you know, <laughs> I make three times the value. So I'm sure that's going to be no problem to get a whole beacon full of emerald blocks in order to do that. You know what I have decided to do? I've actually decided to use the whole bunch of iron that I had in my chest. I feel like I have way more iron and it would take me way less time to get that full beacon going than it would trading with villagers. So I'm just going to leave that smelting. I think we need to get onto the next part of Teg and get prepared. One of the main really fun ideas that I want to do with Teg is actually have a series of puzzle rooms. And one of those puzzle rooms involves some powdered snow. Now, as it is, I've got maybe two blocks to my name. But remember the other day, the other clip or the other episode when we uh, we made a little deal with Cub there? Cub came by and offered us to join the uh, powdered collective, I think it was. And we gave him about one and a half to two stacks of cauldrons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a look at that place and uh, see if there's any available for us to use because we're going to need a lot, way more than the two measly blocks that I have. We have officially arrived at the Snowball. Look at this place. It's massive. What do we got here? Sn the Snowball Collective, the coolest of the cool kids, formerly the Powder Puff Kids. Are we ever called the Powder Puff Kids? <laughs> and then a list of members, which of course we are also on. And we've already joined up. So I guess he, he told us we were free to grab any powdered snow that we felt like from this area. And look how many are here. There's so many full cauldrons. This is gonna do, do us just fine. Let me go grab a few and then we'll uh, head on back as well. Now I did come back with a few extra resources because I noticed there seemed to be a snow farm there. So I did come back with a few extra uh, stacks of snow blocks that'll hopefully do the snow room that I'm thinking of. And you know what? I'm not actually going to explain the entire room that I'm thinking of doing before I make it because it's better done first and then explained afterwards so that I don't confuse you. I get to show you all instead and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to show the entrance on camera but I will give you guys a beautiful time lapse of me creating the underground tag hidey hole I guess. <laughs> Let's just honestly get into it, go crazy and uh, make something fun. Welcome back everyone. My tech puzzle is now complete and I think it's time to show you guys around a little bit. Let's just make our way into the entrance here, hop into this minecart, hop out and not suffocate, close the door behind us and make our way into the entrance to my tech maze with totally not a whole bunch of annoying doors on the way through. Tech Maybe. Maybe it's not tech. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I was trolling everybody this whole time. <laughs> Okay, welcome to my tech entrance, guys. I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. Of course, my entry into the aquarium, 
You guys will have to wait until afterwards to see how people even get in there. But for now, let's just walk through the actual thing. The first things, fellow hermits will encounter on the way to Teg for my little area is the back to surface doors and the locker room doors. Now the back to surface, of course, is exactly what it is. You walk in here, you go up the stairs, and you'll be able to see a little kind of iron trap door that'll lead back into my base if they choose to opt out, even if they've come this far. Of course, over here, you've also got the locker room doors and two barrels with two items above it. Now, I'm going to read you guys the book, which will explain what that is about. Welcome to the Totally Not a Teg hiding spot. I won't spoil what's inside, I'll just pre-warn you to please take off any personal belongings that you don't want to perish in the case of death. You also have the choice to take one of two items with you past the iron doors. Fire resistance or leather boots. Feel free to take one that can help you in your exploration. Good luck. That, that's it. That's all they get. They can take one item, either fire resistance or snow boots, that could benefit their journey throughout the game. Or well, throughout the little maze thing that I've made. So let's carry on, shall we? I'm just going to keep going with my leather boots that I currently have on. Let's walk through. Of course, in this room in, is the locker room, so they can just use these chests to store any of their personal belongings that they can come back and get afterwards. Ensure all personal items are in chests to avoid item loss upon a potential death. And come through the iron doors. I was debating whether or not to actually leave that button there, but I actually think I might. Because if players feel like they don't want to go any further, then they can always go back out if they feel like it. So immediately upon walking into the first room, I've got this really snowy area and you can kind of guess why I've made this one a snow theme and why I've got the leather boots. I have powdered snow all over the place. And you know what? There's a few secrets as well hidden with the powdered snow. This one is pretty obvious, but this has two powdered snow blocks that you can jump on top of, go behind and activate a lever, which gives you a shortcut in another room. Lever unlock shortcut in another room, win-win. <laughs> so if they choose the snow boots, they can jump up onto these blocks, come through here and then flick the lever for an extra bonus in a different room. Now, if players did not choose the leather boots, they can't actually get up here at all. There is no way for them to jump up. I've tried a little bit of parkour to try and get up here, but you just hit all the walls. So they can't actually get up because this is two blocks deep and they just get stuck. So if they choose the boots, they get a little shortcut later on down the line. Other thing as well, if they don't if they don't choose the snow boots, they will actually fall immediately down into this room down here, which is like a really lush green room that I've decided to make to kind of contrast the snowy one above it. And this room honestly doesn't really do anything, but you'll notice a bit of a secret here, which is something that they can aim for and gives them a bit of a clue. So if we walk up this little stairway right here, follow the thing back up again through all my lush glowberries, and they can come back through the powdered snow at the top and fall down from the roof and they're back in here again and they've still got to find the way out through these iron doors over here. I hope you know how to walk through my doors. That is a notion towards the next room. <laughs> so if they do want to get out of here, they've got to stand on this block here, drop down there and then walk up and follow this path all the way around until they get to this lever which they can flick and that will open the iron door so they can go on to the next room. The next room I made is honestly a bit of a meme playing on the fact that nobody can walk through my doors properly. <laughs> so I've just made a whole bunch of annoying doors that they're going to have to walk through that flick, you know, as you open them, they can sometimes expose different pathways that they can take and eventually they'll be able to get to the exit, which leads on to the next room. This one right here is my slightly torturous parkour room. Now, if players are good at parkour and if they can do a Neo, they honestly won't have a problem with this at all. Of course, as you can see here, though, there is a pathway that has been activated. That was from the liver in the snow room. So if they pick the snow boots, they can give themselves a shortcut through the parkour section relating to these signs. <laughs> Not strong in parkour, maybe you should have chosen the boots. Hmm. But if they did choose the fire resistance pot, they can use that, and then if they fall into lava, then they won't die. So how about we give the parkour a go? I'm going to take off my elytra, because that can affect how I jump. And I've got my fire resistance, just in case I happen to fall and don't get it on the first go. But would you look at that? Seems I don't really need it. <laughs> Unless I fall down here. And there we go, easily done. So they crawl through, crouch down here, and they can jump over the glass. I always found it kind of fascinating with the fact that you can't see the smoke particles through the glass at all. Anyway, I do need to probably block this up a little bit, just like add some kind of wall there so it's not so ugly, I guess. But if they did choose the uh, 
the boots and the sl- and did unlock this. They can just jump across these, to get to the trap door, flick it down so they go into a swim mode, and they'll get this little hole that they can climb through and then just walk up here. And at the end of the day, Teg will be right here. As soon as I acquire it from the person that currently has it, Teg will be here, and all they can do is just break that block and they'll get it straight away. No difficulties at all. Once they're done and they've got it, they can walk out this way, take the iron trap door, flick the lever, and just drop down and then flick that back again if they feel like it. <laughs> These iron trap doors are there just in case someone happens to have an ender pearl and they can't just ender pearl up there and uh, get the tech straight away. But honestly, that is basically my tech hidey spot. The entrance to it is probably kind of mean. So what I was thinking of doing is actually leaving like a little book or something. If they're really having trouble finding it and a lot of people go through and spend hours maybe even looking, I don't know then they can just send me a message and maybe I'll give them a little bit of a clue to, to help them a bit because the way I've currently hidden it is actually quite mean. <laughs> Sometimes I forget which one it is. Um, so yeah, I, I won't show you guys on camera just yet. We'll wait until someone finds the tag, so I'll probably end up saying it in the next episode. Now, after all that, I don't actually have the tag yet. That's, that's something I still need to do. <laughs> I decided to spend about two or three days you know, down below my base doing, the, doing that little maze and building it. I didn't want to get the egg before it was ready. So the next thing we're going to go do is, is go find it and acquire it from the person who has it. And the person that has it is I, Jevin. Time for us to go grab it. I'm going to face plant. Hi. Now, if I've learned anything from people hiding the tag, it's the fact that ender pearls are really, really handy. So this is actually going to be the first time that I've jumped into the end. I've only got one enderpearl to my name, so this seems quite necessary. And apparently I'm getting forced in there by a silverfish. <laughs> I am fine with this, but I need some pearls. So let's go grab a few of those before I hop over to Jeb's. This is my first time in the end. Oh my wow. That is a massive XP on the ground. Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you. Someone's leaving a trail behind them. Don't mind me while I just wait for the, the XP balls to absorb. Yep, just... Wait in here. Maybe sometime soon. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Maybe a tad. Not, not yet? Okay. And we're finally done! Alright, I'm gonna be on my way to Jeff's. <laughs> we have arrived! Have we made any sales on a llama while we're here? No, no sales? Okay, we've, got, we've acquired a slime though. Hi, little kitty. <laughs> I honestly don't really know where to start looking. I mean... Everyone's kind of expanding their bases at this point that I don't know how far or you know, just how far away exactly this egg could possibly be, but let's kind of just start looking around and see if we can find anything, uh, find anything that seems super sus. I will scour this whole place until I find an egg that's not a disgrace. Is it just me or does that look like something? Like that is a very clear pathway behind there. Is there any way for us to to get in there maybe? Like that looks a little that looks a little bit suspicious. I'm kind of curious what that is. Oh. Oh, wasn't this the previous egg room? I don't know if he would use, reuse the same room over again. I'm pretty sure this was his previous tech hiding spot. Am I going to waste my time if I go down there? We'll have to have a look. Hold on. That one doesn't do anything. I'm going to check down here first just in case. That is a really cool farm design, by the way. Just looking down and seeing that mass of sugarcane. Now that's really cool. I love that. Anything behind the chests? Nothing behind the chests. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How you doing? How you going? What's your name? Zombie V2? Where'd V1 go? That's what I want to know. Okay, I, I honestly don't see anything over here. So I'm pretty much guessing that we're going to have to go down into that hole of paintings. Unless there's something here with the shulker boxes. Ooh, that, that's a lot of netherite armor. Wow. Okay. Ender pearls for Nervings Club to exit the hole. Okay, well, that's fine. Please do not use ender pearls as it breaks painting. So we have to somehow find the tag through these? I, I hope, like, has he used the same room again? I don't really know. Oh. Hello? Did I just accidentally fly into something? <laughs> that's worked out? Okay, hold on. Nothing here by the looks of it. This is also a dead end. Oh gosh. Okay, this is gonna be painful. I can already tell. Please don't tell me every single one of these paintings has a, 
<laughs> a hole in it? Oh no. Let's see. Oh, oh dear. Yep. Okay. Well, that Jevin props, man. I feel like this is. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm on the ground, so that means we've got to be able to get up somehow, right? <sighs> Oh. oh, I think that was a sugar cane farm. Okay, I'm in a little crawly wally space. Is there anything down here? No, it's another troll. <laughs> oh no, this is painful. There's another one here. Is this the same one that I just went in? I don't know if like this is where Jev put the egg last time or if this is like different. I really don't know. Well, I, yeah, here I am trying to face plant the paintings and do a little bit of an Elytra trick, but I guess this has, still has to be possible for people without wings. Hmm. Hmm. This is a really long crawling tunnel. I found this behind one of the paintings and I've, I've been crawling for a few minutes now. <laughs> I really hope there's something at the end of this. And I crawl through the little tunnel, little tunnel, little tunnel, crawling through the little tunnel on my merry way. Hi. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, I did not think this was actually going to be the tag. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, I found it. What? I did not think this was gonna be it. I, th I thought it was like a troll or something. I found it. I'm gonna just, I didn't, I didn't bring a torch with me. Yep. Um, as you can tell, I'm a professional at this. All right, I'm, I'm gonna have to go get a torch. So I will, I will be, our, I will be our back guys. Oh no. All right, I'm back down with the torch. <laughs> let's go, let's pick this thing up, shall we? Now we can break blocks to actually pick up the tag. That, that is okay as a rule. You just, if you're trying to find it, you can't break blocks to get to it. You shouldn't have to. So I'm gonna just pick this boy up. Yes. Thank you very much, Jeff. I appreciate it. That was a really good hiding spot, to be honest. I still wonder how the No Wings Club would, be, would have been able to get it. But uh, I'm certainly not complaining right here. Let's get ourselves back out of here. Let's get to the base and let's uh, let's hide this thing, shall we? All right. After about 40 to 50 minutes of looking for the tag or so, we finally have it and I'm going to place it down. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Officially, she's now placed down in my hidey spot. And it's day 5,624, which is exactly the same day that I found it. So there we go. <laughs> Tag taken and placed on the same day. Egg placed and book placed as well. So looking for Tag, just in case any hermit may have extreme trouble finding the space, you may come poke me for a clue. You've got this. So if someone is kind of looking around for like over an hour plus and they really, really can't find it, they're most welcome to come send me a message for a clue if they need it, just in case they need to be pointed in the kind of sort of direction that they need to really aim for. With that said, my tech stuff is now done until someone someone finds it. I can't wait to see who finds the egg next. That is going to be an absolute riot seeing them find that spot. Now, unfortunately, this is where we would normally do a clock heist, but I regret to inform you guys that unfortunately we weren't able to get everyone together in time by the time I really wanted to get an episode out. So that we'll have to wait until the next one. Many apologies, guys. We have some really big plans for the clock heist that we want to do. And it's really important that we're able to kind of get everyone together for that. So it will unfortunately have to wait until the next one. I hope that's OK. I really apologize, guys. But I'm so looking forward to uh, the next heist on Beatubs and his clocks. With all that said and done, guys, that is actually going to be the end of the episode for today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I apologize this was so long once again. It was like, it wasn't even an episode with that many collabs. It was just me doing tag and wither mining and all of that kind of stuff. And you know what? I've had a blast. So seriously, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below if you enjoyed this episode what kind of other shenanigans you might like to see, that kind of thing. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look at that shiny little toad behind me. <laughs> it's in my possession.